Let's begin, shall we? Welcome, everyone. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening to Zoom and in the room. We have 25 students registered in this class, representing many diverse regions of the world, including gorgeous Ithaca. And this is a new experience for me, as it is for you, but that's really what it's about, right? Branching out, trying new things. So let's start, shall we? Of course, I'm a little nervous getting back into the classroom. We are in uncharted territory here, but I really miss the energy, the dynamic, the human connection. I've been planning exactly how my in-person and virtual teaching will coexist and maybe even complement each other. It's all about student engagement, right? Me figuring out about what kind of help I'll need, planning, asking questions. It's important for students to see teachers taking chances, learning new things. The first big question, of course, is what's this all going to look like? How am I going to teach wearing a face covering to students who are also wearing masks, all while practicing social distancing? How is that going to work? How do I make my students zooming in from home feel as engaged as the ones in the room with me? And then how do I make this whole experience valuable for everyone, including myself? There are a few pedagogical techniques I can use to get the students used to this new rhythm and flow of the class. One is asking students on a regular basis to turn to a neighbor to discuss a question and then asking a few to share their answers with the group. Give them enough time, a few minutes. I circulate around the edge of the room to eavesdrop, perhaps maybe offer a comment here or there. Zoom breakout rooms or chats and Canvas discussion boards for those watching later provide access to this activity for everyone here or at home. I like the shield. It's transparent, breathable, and the students can see me smile or frown. We are getting used to masks. The microphone takes a little bit of practice. The key is really knowing when to ask for help. You can create a rotating role for students in class to work as a Zoom coordinator. They serve as a link between what is happening in person and online. They keep track of the chat, put students in breakout rooms, and voice questions that come up from online students. I think the students are going to enjoy being given this responsibility, contributing to the learning community in this way and, and getting to know their peers. Other things that I'm planning to do personally is to be a little bit more deliberate. I identify times to pause for questions and check in on the students online. Okay, good. Let's bring it back now and um, hear from some of you about what you learned with your discussions with your neighbor. Why don't we begin with um, the Zoom group? Uh, who would like to begin? Yes. While this might feel like a lot of pieces to juggle, I am confident that practicing a consistent rhythm will pay off and the experiences and skills that students will be bringing to the classroom, both online and in person, will make it all worthwhile. Before we end for today, does anyone have any final questions? No, we're good. Okay, so everyone's clear on the reading for next time. Everyone has my uh, contact information. Good, okay, so why don't we say goodbye? Let's say goodbye to our Zoom students. Goodbye, Zoom students. And goodbye, room students. See you next time.